Hey, welcome back to Jameson's Repair Shop. I got a little uh, little project on the go here. Uh, it's these uh, fender turn indicator lights for the 65 Thunderbird. And uh, I believe they're the same on the other two years, 64 and 66, except for this piece here where it sits on the fender is different. But the light itself is the same, as far as I know. So you're, what I'm doing is, I'll show you what was in here. So there's a little bulb, spring, there's the bulb socket like that, and the spring goes behind it, and behind all that goes this uh, contact. There's a lot in there, and the contact pushes against the uh, back of the housing, and then there's this little amber lens that goes on, and oh, there was an O-ring to hold it all in, and then the amber lens, and then this stainless uh, nut here with two grooves in it and I use to get it out I just use a pair of snap ring pliers like so it's a little harder on the car but when it's off the car it's pretty easy so what I'm doing is uh, rebuilding this thing oh and there's a little gasket and here's the fastener so these are grounded to the body and then there's one power wire this one here this is just a power wire so I saw this on uh, D&D Speed Shop out of Winnipeg. Danny did this. So I'm not taking credit for this uh, here at all. This is Danny's D&D uh, Speed Shop where he did it on a Mopar. And uh, So what I'm doing is I'm using these little LEDs. Uh, I got these online, but I think you can buy those in Canada at Canadian Tire, I suspect, Harbor Freight. So they come and I have a whole bunch. I use them on the Prairie Dory for marker light. So I have some red ones, some white ones. They were cheap. They don't cost much for a whole pack of them. I think you pay more if you buy individual. So they come with this, I uh, hope you can see that. They come with this, uh, just a little rubber on it. Just pull the rubber off and you'll see it's just a barrel style. And because it is that barrel style, it fits in perfectly in here so the only thing I can say so I, your thread I left a little the nylon sleeve in there I took everything else out and then I fed each wire individually through to get them in and uh, now you can do it two ways because this this light is pretty bright but this light has uh, a pattern on the front there's like the prism on it so it's up and down which then will allow the actual led lights to go sideways and i liked it that way the best i tried it both ways if you turn it the other way it's up the leds are straight up and down um i i don't know it's up to preference the only thing i can say if you're going to do this is make sure that your prisms are where you want them before you shove them in because it goes in there nice and snug and just get them lined up right. Get to twist the wires maybe a little. But just get them so that they uh, they look good. Not that you're going to see much of them. So that goes all the way in. Like so. And this actual stainless ring will actually go back on. So you have the factory look still. I mean they're a little fiddly. If you've done these you already know. Putting these on is a little bit uh, encumbersome. Anyway, you put the ring back on and tighten it up and it'll push that down in there. That's why I say make sure that the prisms are the direction you want first. All right, so I'm not going to tighten this all up. I'll just give it a quick turn and let's light her up, see what she looks like. Now these are pretty bright and they are going to be right out in front on your fenders. But in the daytime, you'll probably never even notice it hardly. But at night, it'll probably be a little bit brighter than you maybe want. So let me get a, pa a battery pack hooked up here. The white is actually the ground on these. And the black is uh, the black is for hot. Just like a house wire. So hot and common. So ground is white and black is the uh, for the, the hot wire. And there they are. So I definitely will be able to see them. So I think I'm going to go rebuild two of them, and I'll install them on this uh, hardtop car. So, uh, pretty straightforward stuff. I'll see if I can find the cost of these things in uh, where I got them. I probably was on Amazon. 
and uh, maybe I'll put that in the description, but it'll be all different from wherever you live, from where I live. So anyway, that's my, uh, for the, uh, my solution, not my solution. That's a solution that uh, I picked up on by Danny at the uh, D&D Speed Shop. So if you want a nice bright turn indicator lights, they fit right in there. All right, now that I've got it uh, rebuilt with my LED light in it. I wanted to show you guys what it looked like on the car. Now this remind you remember this is daylight, and I just did that one over there, the right the right one. And I have the engine running, and uh, was all the dash lights are on and everything, all that jazz. Need to clean that real stat in the switch. Yeah, not too bad. Just a little little scratchy. But anyway, let's get back to this. So I figured it would be uh, it'd be good to show what it looks like from the driver's seat. So here we go. Well, that's not too bad. Now at night, I suspect that's fairly bright. All right, let's compare the two. And there's the original. I can't. There we, and then we'll turn on the the new one, the LED. Not significantly brighter, but brighter. So I'm going to do both of them. So that one is only uh, just mocked in there. I have to put, I need a bullet uh, connector that matches the uh, Ford stuff. Anyway, uh, there she is. Well, she's running funny. This uh, flasher in this one is not working very good. There it goes again. All right. The motor for the sequential works good, but the flasher dies out. So I needed to put a new flasher in. There it goes. You hear it clicking again. All right. There she is. There's the left one, and there's the rebuilt one on the right. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Danny at DDD D and D Speed Shop for that tip. Really come in handy. Thanks a lot, and we'll catch you in the next one.